Prabhuji. Sorry, I think you are muted. Yes, Prabhu. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So he says, <clears throat> if you are uh, glorify someone like that, then that could be considered cheating. Isn't it? Well, if you say, if you had come first grade in uni, you would have got a gold medal. And because you had got gold medal, you would have become professor of this subject in the university. So all glories to you. <laughs> so this is what Maharaj Prithu is saying. This is a cheating. Or rather he is saying this is an insult to the person. And he is truly speaking, Maharaj, Prithu Maharaj is speaking. You know, sometimes we try to exhibit those qualities. Somebody is glorifying us and we trying to avoid that. <laughs> we trying to be shy. Yeah. And then he further goes on to say another very important thing he says. He says people, people who are really sober, people who are sober, like they don't like to be discussed if they had done something wrong in the public. If you had done something wrong in the public, you don't like that to be discussed. Similarly, those people, they don't like to be praised in public if they have accomplished something. Isn't it? Langade ko langada mat bolo. Kaane ko kaana mat bolo. Andhe ko andha mat bolo. Andha to hai. Par usko public mein bolo ke to bura maan jayega. Similarly, he's saying, if someone has accomplished good things, those people, they, they, feel, they don't appreciate that. Like they don't appreciate bad things discussed, they similarly don't appreciate good things being discussed. Right? And then he says, if if I allow you people to appreciate me, then it is like child, it is a childish balavat. Yeah. Katham Atmanam Gap Yishyama Balavat. How can I let you glorify me in public? That is like a childlike. Like a child. So, like this, Prithu Maharaj spoke to them and smilingly in a good mood. But as Prithu Maharaj spoke to them like this, those bards, they were still not convinced. Rather, they enjoyed, they liked what Prithu Maharaj said to them. Tad vag amrit sevaya. They considered his words to be like nectar. <laughs> I'll have to share online. Sorry, I'm talking. Where is my... So that concludes chapter number 15. He says, glorify him in the future and this praise could be an insult. But the bards, they say, we still want to glorify you after hearing his words, which were like nectar. They enjoyed those words. And they said, but we still want to glorify you because they were uh, glorifying on the instruction of sages as per the instruction of the sages. Because sages had declared him to be an incarnation of the Supreme Lord. Brahmaji had come. He had also said that he is an incarnation of Supreme Personality of Godhead. Sages had also said that he has appeared. He is Bhagavat Kalam. Harer Ansha, he is the Ansh of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And he has appeared with the potency of Bhuvan Palini, who is the caretaker, protector of the whole, whole earth, all the living entities. So you have those qualities. So they are saying we are encouraged by the sages to glorify you. And we know you are Narayana. Narayan means all the nar take your shelter. Iron. Yeah. All the everyone takes your shelter. So you are that supreme personality of God. Devavaro. 
you are the devar you are the supreme lord avatar you have appeared so we know that even if you don't want us to glorify you they saying but your quality slag gyan your activities are laudable and it is amrit katha adrita your activities are like nectar and they need to be they are to be heard with a sense of respect so we will still like to glorify you my dear sir and then they start glorifying him they say that you are esh esh dharm bhatam shreshto lokam dharm anuvartayan gopta ch dharm setu naam ya shasta tat paripanthina so they are now saying uh, saying the first reason or first of his qualities they saying this this personality is dharma bhritam shreshto people who are follower of the religion he is greatest in them shreshto he is the perfect he will be following the religious principles perfectly right and then second thing he is saying is then what he will do he will also engage others lokam dharma anuvartayan he will engage others to follow the religious principles right and then he will also protect the maryada dharma setu naam gopta means protect so he will protect the maryada of the dharma every dharma because in this case you know there is difference what is the paro dharma सवे पुमसाम परो धर्मो यतो भक्तिर अधोक्ष जे अहे तुकी अप्रतिहरता या आत्मा सुप्रसिद्धती दैट इज द परो धर्म बट हियर ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट अदर धर्मस आल्सो अदर सोसाइटी रिलीजन लाइक वर्णाश्रम धर्म दैट इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वर्णाश्रम ही विल मेक श्योर दैट वर्णाश्रम धर्म इज 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 बीइंग फॉलोड राइट बिकॉज़ दैट विल क्रिएट पीपल टू गो एंड टेक अप द प्रोसेस ऑफ of bhakti glorifying the supreme lord through that process so he will be doing that and he will also shasta he will also punish the people who are not following the religious principles yeah like lord shiva is telling mother parvati right jab jab ho hi dharm ki hani baad hi asur adham abhimani kar hi aniti jai nahi barni सीध ही धेनु सुर विप्र धरनी तब तब प्रभु धरी विविध शरीरा हर ही कृपा निधि सज्जन पीरा वेन एंड वेर एवर एंड वेन एवर धर्म की हानि पीपल स्टॉप फॉलोइंग द रिलीजियस प्रिंसिपल्स राइट असुर अधम अभिमानी दे इंक्रीज डेमन डेमन्स अधम पीपल हु आर टोटली फॉल डाउन अभिमानी पीपल हु आर प्राउड those when they when that kind of population increase see the hi bipra senu dhur dharm dhenu yeah bipra brahmanas they torment them right cow cow protection is not being done mother earth mother earth says i don't feel the weight of these rivers and these mountains or this forest as much as weight i feel of one sinful person that is a plea of mother earth and we will hear more about it in the next chapter when prithu maharaj is chasing mother earth yeah so whenever these active similarly in bhagavad gita also lord krishna is saying yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharat tad atmanam srijamam i come why i come dharma sansthapnartha hai yeah to establish re establish the principle of religion so same thing here that's what these brahmanas these bards are saying about prithu maharaj dharma bhratam shreshto he is the he is the perfect and then they say that this prithu maharaj esh right they are referring to him as if they are seeing him right and they saying that esh vai lok palana vibharti ekas tanau tanu when there is a need he will also take up the body 
or the not really the body but the energy but the role of the various demigods lokapalana he will take and we will see how he will do that but they are also saying two important things with him prithu maharaj they are saying he will encourage the performance of yagnas through which the people living in the higher planets they will be protected or they will be able to survive sort of you understand what they take when you perform yagna there is a share of share for demigods through vishnu they take their share our pitra they take their share through that yagna ceremony right so through this process there is share for all of them if you don't call all of them if you just offer it to vishnu then it's like if you put food in the belly all the limbs are satisfied similarly if you offer something to krishna to vishnu bhagwan then all the demigods all the dependents they also get that right so one thing that prithu maharaj will do is they're saying is he will make sure that yagna people are encouraged to perform the yagna yeah. remember bhagavad gita krishna is saying annat bhavanti bhutani parjanyat ann sambhavat yagnat bhavati parjanno yagna karma samudhav so sacrifice yagna and when we spoke about sacrifice one important thing that we also highlighted is that in this sacrifice there is no personal gain so the motivation is for the pleasure of of krishna or the supreme personality so this is what prithu maharaj will reestep because vena stayed stop right vena had told them not to perform any yagna he said if you want to glorify glorify me king is the representation of the supreme lord and if king is happy everyone is happy so prithu maharaj he will establish that and then he is saying through yagna the all the entities in the upper planetary systems they will be satisfied and through the varnashram sort of yagna or that process the living entities on the earthly planet they will also be satisfied so the whole system will function nicely and people who are not following the dharma they will go to the hellish planet and they will be taken care there themselves <laughs> right so because karam you know karam bhog to bhogna padega mm. but the whole point is here on the earth so the point is here at this level this in the manush in the human body only you can perform karm every other yoni is bhog yoni important thing to understand every other yoni is a bhog yoni only in the human yoni you can perform yagna demigods look down they want to take human body because they are also they they bhog they only partake in the bhogas abrahma bhogna loka punar avartin arjuna mam upetya tu konteya punar janna vidyate krishna is saying up to brahma lok which is the topmost up to the topmost planet hey arjun they have to come back so they all have to come back but only in the human body only in the human body kavah ko karuna karnar dehi deet is bin hetu sanni bhagwan ram himself is instructing in ramayana uttarakhand he is he called all the residents एक बार रघुनाथ बुलाए गुरु वशिष्ठ संग पूर्वासी सब आए ऑल द ब्राह्मण ऑल दिटीजन केम एंड लॉर्ड राम केव एन इंस्ट्रक्शन टू देम पता नहीं कब वट सुकृति वी डिड दैट वी गॉट दिस ह्यूमन बॉडी कब होकर यू डोंट नो वट अज्ञात सुकृति यू डिड whom did you glorify whom did you you know maybe you were an insect and we heard holy name in the association of devotees somewhere some people were walking we heard the name of the supreme lord 
who knows how we got this human body. Isn't it? So that's very important thing to understand. Right? Human body, human body. Pade bhag manushtan pava, surdur lavasad, grantan gava. Pade bhag se manushya ka sharir mila hai. Otherwise, te marte loke bhuvi bhar bhuta, manushya rupen bragas chavanti. Otherwise, a four-legged animal has stood up on two legs. <laughs> Right. And we're just walking around. Manusha Rupen Marigat Sharanti. Yeah, so like this Prithu Maharaj, he established and he made sure that there was an opportunity uh, for the uh, presidents to perform yagna, which will create a perfect balance between the upper planetary system starting from earthly planet. And when these planetary systems are balanced, the lower planetary system also gets balanced. Because if there is problem here, then they they take over. Right? All the demonic qualities take over and the whole thing gets disturbed. Yeah. So what we try to do is we are going against the current. So let's thank everyone, each one of us to give each other our association. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not possible. Right? It's very important. Yeah. So Maharaj Prithu did that and, uh, and he took he showed the quality of various demigods. So the first one he's saying is, he, <clears throat> he exhibited the qualities or he took the, as, as and when needed. So the first one is Surya Vad Vibhu, like as sun. So what sun does, for the eight months, sun will extract the water from the earth. And then when there is a need for the rain, in four months, he will give that back to the earth. Similarly, they're saying, Prithu Maharaj, he collected taxes from his residents and in the need, he gave that money back to the residents. And another important word mentioned here is Samadarshi. So he was not like sun, does not make any difference whether the water is here or water is there. Even the stool gets dried up. Sun does not differentiate anymore. And when the rain comes, it does not say that barish idhar hogi, banwari ke ghar mein barish nahi hogi. <laughs> barish is everywhere. The rain is everywhere. So samadarshi. Similarly, Prithu Maharaj was samadarshi. Surya Vadri. So that's quality number one. Or where's and when he showed these demigodly qualities. Then the next is he said about this Shiti. Shiti Vritti Mana. Shiti is earth. Like earth. He was Dayalu like earth. Dayalu is merciful like earth. So it is said, even if somebody trampled on his head, he will not mind. Like everybody walks on the earth, you jump on the earth. That's why you see some people who have really advanced. They are careful. You know Rahugana? No. Jad Bharat. Yeah. Rahugana was the king. Maharaj Jad Bharat. Maharaj Jad Bharat was lying there. And King Rahugana was going. So he had four people carrying him on a palanquin. And one person got injured. And they picked up Jad Bharat from the roadside. They said, you come. You look a strong person. And then he was asked to carry the palanquin. But when Jad Bharat was walking, he was looking at ants, everything. And he was jumping up and down and king got disturbed. King said, what is going on? <laughs> what has happened? Where is the other person? And then those three people said, no, no, king, we are not done anything wrong. This is this person. This person is creating the trouble. And then Rahugana looked at him. And Rahugana started sarcastically talking to him. You look like a very weak person. He was strong, but he is sarcastically saying to him. And he spoke a few bad words to him. And then Jad Bharat heard those words. And when Jad Bharat said something, Rahugana jumped out of the palanquin and fell flat on his feet. He said, who are you? 
please, please enlighten me. Hearing his words, he realized. You know, so some people, but he was naturally exalted. He was naturally exalted. We can't copy him. Right? We can't imitate him. He was naturally exalted through the process. Through the process. Process of devotion, process of surrender. So that will come. And we are all in that process. Right? Sadhana Bhakti. Right? That's what we're doing. So like that, some people are like this. So Prithu Maharaj was naturally like this. Even if somebody put his foot on his head, he would still so merciful. He won't mind. Like we sing. Shikshastakam. Trinadapi sunichena. Tarorapi sahishnuna. Yeah. And then what is the third line? Amani na manadena. Amani na manadena. Kirtaniya sada hari. So this is written by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Shikshastakam. And he's saying, Trinadapi sunichena. Like a trin, you become humble like a trin. It gets, you know, a blade of grass, people walking over it, but it still stands up. But for us to realize that, it will take this process. We won't get it overnight, but through this process. So like this, Prithu Maharaj, Shruti Vrittima, he was like this. Then the third they're saying is, he will also, he can also get the rain, right? He will protect, right? Rakshishyati Anjasa Indravat. He can protect his citizens like Indra, Anjasa, within no time. If there is any drought and there is no rain and people are suffering, he can create rain like Indra. Rakshishyati. Yeah? And then the fourth quality they're saying is that he, when people look at him, When people just look at his face, all their miseries, all their sorrows will be gone away. Yeah? You see, when you see someone, you feel so happy. Sometime in the family relation, you see a little child, grandparents see the grandchildren, then they feel happy. Right? When you are young, the boy and girl, when they see each other, they feel happy. So at certain stages, we have that. In Mumbai, you, are you from Mumbai? Have you gone to Amitabh Bachchan's house? Who has gone? Nobody. <laughs> you know that process. Every morning he comes out and thousands of people are standing there. Thousands of people are standing there to take his darshan. Some people don't start their day until they see him. <laughs> Right? They get some pleasure. I, I saw I saw some video somebody forwarded. So I saw that video. So earlier he was coming and then once Amitabh Bachchan had his grandchildren visiting him. So he took his daughter's son with him on the stage. And everybody was happy to see him as well. <laughs> what pleasure they are getting. However, when Lord Krishna, when he entered Dwarka, when he came back from Hastinapur, then Dwarka Vasi, they welcomed Lord Krishna. And they are saying to Krishna, Katham vayam na tachiro shitatvai prasanna drishta So what they're saying to is Katham Vayam Nath Chiro Shitatvai. Oh my dear Lord, how will we be able to live without seeing your face? No, in the first line they're saying is that that you, your prasanna, your drishti. First is your drishti, you looking at us. When you look at us, 
all our shok, all our sorrows are vanquished. And then in the next line it says, saying, Jivet me, Jivet me prasanna has shobanam apashyamana. <laughs> Your smiling face, if you don't see that face, Apashyamana vadan manoharam. Your vadan as in your face, your smiling face, if we don't see that, my dear Lord, how will we live? See? See the difference? So this is how they were glorifying Krishna when they entered into Dwarka. Because Lord Krishna was spending a lot of time with Pandavas in Hastinapur. There was turmoil in Hastinapur. He will go there. Rather, Acharya say he was looking for excuses to go to Hastinapur. <laughs> he loved Pandavas so much. <laughs> The queens will say, why don't you go and stay in Astinapur? Why do you even come here? <laughs> even though he was king of Dwarka or he was Dwarka Nath. But he was spending more time in Hastinapur with the Pandavas. Because Lord also loves his devotees. Right? So similarly they are saying Prithu Maharaj. Right? He is like, his face is like a moon. Right? Amrit, nectar. Right? When they see him, right? So that's so he take for shape of a moon or like moonly demigod qualities, right? When required. Then they say he will also be <coughs> he will also be Dharma Pathe Stitha. He will be fixed on the path of religion. And how he will be fixed on the path of religion? They're saying he will. Uphold the principles of religion. If one of his enemy's son is not at fault, he won't punish him. But if, if his own son is at, at fault, he will punish him. So like he will be an impartial king. Dharma He will uh, He will assume or the quality of Vayu demigod. How? He says like air. You breathe in, you breathe out. Air is inside your body, air is outside your body. So air is Sakshi, air is witness of all your activities. Right? If you think nobody is watching you, you are always being witnessed. Always, every time. If you think the, the Supreme Lord inside is not watching me, but various these demigods, you are being watched every time. So the air is the perfect example given here. So like they are saying, he knows everything. But even if he is knowing everything, he will know about people who are criticizing him and people who are glorifying him. But in both the circumstances, he will be equipoised. So that's the quality of value. Fire! Like Arni. Arni Uttitho Anala. Arni, there is a wood. Separate wood from which, you know, in there is no matchstick. But if you if you if you if you like do that brush then then the fire comes out. So the point they're saying is the fire is already there inside the wood. You're not putting it in inside specifically. So fire is already there. So like this, he, the he knows everything. He knows everything around him, and he will know none of his enemies will even dare to come close to. Him. And then like. Finally, they're saying like the sun god or the sun. The sun rays goes to the topmost as, or to the topmost mountain on the whole planet. So similarly, his rule will be across the whole planetary system. On the, across the whole earth. So wherever the first rays of sun goes, right? So he will rule that whole area. He will know everything wherever what is happening. So this will be the his uh, this is how he will sh uh, show the qualities of demigod or he will assume that or he will have those uh, powers per se. And then they talk about you know some of his other qualities. He will be Dradvrata right. Dradvrata means if he says something he will get it done. He will be Satya Sandho he will uphold the, the truthfulness right. He will be Vraddha Sevaka. He will be servant serving the old people Sharanya, Sarvabhutana, Sharanya, whoever goes to his Sharan, 
take his shelter, they will be protected, right? For all the living entities, he won't discriminate. He will give respect to everyone. He will be deen watsal, right? He will treat everyone like watsal means, what's come from the word, like a cow takes care of its calf. So like he will take care of deens, people who are helpless. So he will take care of them. Matri bhakti, par istri shu. Other wives or other women, he will treat as mothers, right? <clears throat> and to his own wife, he will treat as his good half. He will he will treat them like that, right? And he will be king karo brahmavadina. Kinkar means servant. Servant to whom? Brahmavadina. People who are glorifying the Supreme Lord, he will become servant to them. See, such is the king. So those are some of the qualities. And there are many more qualities. You can read that yourself. Right? We have to keep going. And then, and then they say that like this he will do. And wherever he goes, Prithu Maharaj, Bhuvi Mandal, right? he will go around the whole, he will be going on his chariot and he will be rotating in his own orbit. So the sun goes around like this. But sun is also rotating. Understand? Going around and also rotating like this. So like this they are saying similarly Prithu Maharaj when he will be travelling on his chariot around the whole planet. Earth planet. Right? He will be so powerful. And wherever he goes all the kings, all the Lokpal they will accept him as superior. They will bow down to him and their wives will glorify him. As a supreme personality of God, as Lord Hari Himself. The kings will offer him various gifts wherever he goes, right? When he goes on his chariot. And then they say he will be so powerful and he will milk Mother Earth. Bhuvim Gam Duduhu Duduhe Adhirata. Whom the earth will take form of a cow. And he will milk the cow. This will become next question for Viduji. In the next chapter, he will ask why did he have, he have to milk the cow? And then he will start talking about that. He will tell the story about why did he milk the cow? Why did he chase Mother Earth? And, but, but mind this line I'm mentioning to you. So this will be the sutra for the next chapter. Like, or connection with the next chapter. So he will be like this. And they are saying with the with the end of his bow, with the end of his bow, he will be able to make the earth level, break the mountains. And wherever he goes, all the, the rogues and demons, they will be scared of him. They will be running away. They will hide themselves like a lion goes into the forest with his tail up. So like this, wherever Prithu Maharaj goes, all these demons and rascals and these uh, rogues and thieves, they will hide by scared of Prithu Maharaj. And then they say, so they, they're still glorifying him. And then they say, Prithu Maharaj will perform 100 Ashwamedh Yagna. He will perform 100 Ashwamedh Yagna and when he is doing his 100th yagna, Indra will come and steal his horse. It is also said. <laughs> they have already said this. Right? We will know more about this. You know, why? Why they have. And then they say, yeah, and then today's verse. Right? What is today's verse? That, you, you just remember, that one day in his, in the, Garden of his palace, he will meet whom? Sanat Kumar. Not all the four Kumaras, just one, one of them. Right? So he will meet Sanat Kumar, and by meeting Sanat Kumar, what will he get? Gnanam. He will get that knowledge. Right? And he will get that knowledge, and by getting that knowledge, what? So before getting that knowledge, what, what he will do? Bhaktaya, Shraddhaya. Right? With full devotion, with full surrender. Right? He will worship him. And then he will get that supreme knowledge. 
gnanam right brahm and from that knowledge yato brahm param vidanti from that knowledge he will get to know the brahm right the topmost bliss knowledge anand right <laughs> which will make him happy and there is going to be a lot of when the horse is taken away, we'll hear about it. And then he says, Prithu Maharaj, fame will spread all over the universe. All over the universe, his fame will spread. All the residents of all the planets, they will know about his fame, about his greatness. And then after that, he's saying, Disho Vijitya, by winning all the directions. Pravridh chakra, without any objection. Nobody will object to his superiority. And from the from his tej, swa tej so utpatit lok shalya. From his tej, what he will do? He will uproot all the miseries of all the living entities. The word he uses shalya. Shalya means what? Surgery. Surgeon is called Shalya Ch Chikitsa. So he will perform the surgery. Taap Trayo Unmulanam. Srimad Bhagavatam, verse number 1st, Canto 2nd, 1, 1, 2. Right? That's what Srimad Bhagavatam does. Taap Trayo Unmulanam. It uproots all the miseries, all the threefold miseries. So by his own prowess, Prithu Maharaj will uproot all the miseries of the citizens. And then Surendra, Sura Surendra Upagiya Mana. Then he will be praised by both Sur and Asur, both Upagiya Mana. They both will glorify him. Right? Mahanubhavo Bhavita Patir Bhuva. And that great personality, this great personality will become king of the whole universe or the you know samrat of the whole universe from his own stage he will uproot all the miseries of all the living entities nobody will oppose him and once he established that kingdom then he will be glorified by both demons and demigods they will sing his glories right? so this is the glorification of prithu maharaj by the parts so we'll stop here now. In the next chapter, we'll discuss about what? How Prithu Maharaj had to chase Mother Earth who took the form of a power. So we'll stop here. Okay, Jai Sima Prabhu, we'll stop here. Thank you, Prabhuji. Okay, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada ki. Yeah.